Hello everyone, my name is Kasim. Welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to do an update to the dividend and growth investing portfolio. As you guys know, this is the main portfolio for the channel. This is the main reason why this channel exists. I want to show you the process, how I'm going to get this, my process. I'm going to get this portfolio up to over a million dollars. Is, this is what this channel is centered at centered around all the other things that i do with different type of trading investing and everything else that i do everything surrounds this portfolio to be able to make more money so i'm able to put that money into this portfolio so really quickly today's topic mainly will be about stocks and etfs like you know exchange trade traded funds you know just touch up touch touch up on the differences and I know those things because I always like to give a little nugget every time I do this video so we're going to talk about those things we're going to review some of the things that I've uh, some of the changes that I've made since I've done the last video you know a lot of great things to happen in this video so stay tuned so before we get into it let's just take a quick look and on how the portfolio i've been doing current balance right right now is eighty two thousand dollars and if we take a look at one day i always like to run through this so you guys get a nice realistic view of how you know managing your own money how it's like yeah let's let's get right into it click on one day here we've gained two dollars seventy cents in dividend uh the portfolio grew by five hundred dollars today so which is nice for the week, we've gained $10.60 in dividend and, and it grew by, you know, $810. We look at the month, we've gained $39.14, almost 40 bucks for the month. And uh, the for the whole month, you know, the portfolio grew about $7,000. This is the growth part of, part of the portfolio. The, you see this too right here? Dividend is centered towards companies that pay you for, for owning you know for being an owner you get a piece of the profit for being an owner that's what dividend is now growth is when you invest in companies that don't pay you dividend but you're investing in them and hoping the company will grow so that way what you put in right now will be more valuable in the future so if you take a look here in the in the um last three months in the last three months you know the portfolio has grown 170 dollars in dividend so this is money that i got paid in dividend in the past three months and the portfolio has grown eleven thousand dollars this past three months mad you know it's grown a lot in the past three months and the past year let's take a look at the past year and this is the trailing year you know from november november 17 last year to november 17 this year you know the portfolio has grown uh, has generated 640 uh, six hundred and twenty-four dollars in income. That's what dividend is. It has also grown by eighteen thousand four hundred and eighty-seven dollars in the past year alone. We'll see all the different sector where most of the money came, like you know, got paid from passive income. Obviously, that's where most of the money comes from. Just because you know this section of the portfolio is primarily geared towards passive income i want to buy companies that specifically pay dividend and then etf section here it's more towards investing in multiple companies j by using one vehicle j by using one stock and then if, if you guys take a look here all this company all this sector here they all pay different amount obviously the top ones are right up here so that is the breakdown of the portfolio for you know the past year and obviously if you look at all time this is what we have uh, this is the number for the all time so what we're going to do now is we are going to get into some of the changes um some of the things that i've done um you know ever since i did the last video we're going to look at some of the changes and some of the things that i've done to the portfolio so let's go and take a quick look at that. So some of the changes that I've made to the portfolio this week is right here with Avis. So Avis has seen a pretty parabolic rise. Um, I mean, this stock uh, today alone, today alone gained 111%. And I put in, I basically put in $19. That's the amount of money that I put into this stock, $19. And this nineteen dollars has turned into two hundred and forty-five dollars. I mean, all time, all time has only been gone up by one hundred and forty-one dollars. 
So all time is going up by $141, about 140%. So out of this 140% alone, today alone, today alone, we saw 100, 107% gain. And if you take a look at the stock here, um, you know, earlier on in the day, it went quite high, up to $500 per share. And that was a three that was a three hundred and sixty three dollar gain in one day. I think probably they having a, they experiencing a sh- um a short squeeze right here. They experiencing a short squeeze. A bunch of hedge funds had to cover their shorts, so and they reported good earnings, which basically shot their stock up or their stock basically did two hundred percent. This must be something like. Wall Street game, uh, Wall Street bets kind of thing. So for me, what I what I did was um, I decided to sell out of it. Um, whatever is left of it, I'm gonna sell it, sell everything, and take that money, take that money and put it rightfully where it belongs in the portfolio. Put it into the Tesla stock because Tesla is down a thousand dollars today for me, but you know it's done well in the past month. I've I've made a lot of money. So it being down today, it's it's a little bit of a breather for the stock. So what I do with Tesla stock as as it's going down, I will be buying. As it's going down, I will be buying. Just because I believe the company will be worth like maybe five to ten trillion dollars in the near future. I and I want my portfolio to capture as much of that five to ten trillion dollars as much as possible so as soon as you know i just can't think of other places to put that to put that profit so it would be better put it in here and just put it to work with so the second thing that happened um within this time period is that i made um i bought some more tesla okay because recently we found out that elon said it was going to sell temp elon took a poll on twitter I said he's going to abide by the poll and said uh, people concluded that he should sell 10% of his stock holdings in Tesla. So the stock drop, this is this the green and red candles up here. The re- green and red candles up here. You can see that Tesla stock dropped significantly today. It dropped roughly about $60 at some point. It recovered and it looks like it's going back down. We'll wait and see what happened. But one thing that we I do know when it comes to Tesla stock, it don't stay down for too long. So usually stuff like this, I'm sure a lot of people will be scooping it up. So I'll be getting some more. So that's why I decided to sell out of I decided to sell out of the, the little gold hold uh stock that I had in my portfolio because I was I'm looking everywhere in my portfolio to see where I can sell something to buy more Tesla. But uh, the only thing I could do right now is to sell gold and put that money into Tesla and, you know, add a little bit more money to it. But that is what I, I was able to add to it. Okay. Um, the stock today, let's take a look at what the stock is doing. Currently, it's down 400. Um, earlier on, it was down roughly... If I go and take a look at the Tesla section here in particular, Tesla alone was down roughly about a thousand, about twelve hundred dollars, one thousand two hundred. So I was just, I'm not able to put in the whole entire amount. As you guys know, when the stock gets a big, significant down, three percent down, four percent down, I like to put the same amount of money, eight hundred or so. But I don't have that right now, so I'll, but I'm able to scramble about four hundred of it put the 400 back into it and i believe over time you know this is like a temporary thing over time the stock will do just well it's up eight thousand dollars in the past month already so i think over time the stock will do well and um you know the portfolio will be just fine even though elon had to sell 10 percent, he had to sell 10 percent because he had to pay federal tax and state tax so um that's my reason why i why the stock that uh, that's the reason why the stock that dropped but i think over time you know tesla is going to two three three trillion dollars so 
over time this would be a bleep in the mo in 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 time. So I just thought let me uh share this part with you. Let's go back to the next section. The final thing that I did this week is I sold out of my Jets um ETF. This is the airline ETF and you know, I've never basically made money on this ETF. So I decided to sell out of it and put that money into Tesla again because I still can't find um better company apart from Apple, Google, a uh, better growing company that I can really put this money into and put it in work and make sure that money grows over time. You know, so you know, I'm building some stakes in Nvidia and all these companies, uh, but they're too high right now. So selling out of jets, putting that money into Tesla. And um, the other two things that I just recently did was to add these two companies into the passive income section. So what we're going to look at now is we are going to look at the difference between an ETF and a stocks, individual stocks. Okay. So there are different concepts and then there are different things, different themes that you can invest in when it comes to, you know, the stock market. So you can invest based on, you know, anything that you're interested in. So some of the, this is why I use a combination of stock and ETFs for my portfolio primarily, just because like, you know, re doing research on, uh, you know, five, 600, you know, individual companies, it's very tough. But what I do is, okay, I look at a group of company because when you invest into ETFs, that's what you're doing. You're buying into a group of company. Like for example, this, this particular ETF focus on gender diversity. You know, this ETF focus on AI powered equity. So, a, uh, you know, stocks that are, you know, primarily, uh, which primarily focus on AI. Their business is primarily focused on AI. This one is looking for global clean energy. This one is retail. So instead of looking for a ton of different companies with those different focus in mind, then I can just invest with one company and it has all the, you know, it has all those companies within that field in one place. For example, if you look at this one, Global X social media ETFs. I'm, this this contains every single social media companies that are out there. You know, it contains them in one place. You know, that is what this one is. So, um, I like using ETF mixed in with individual stocks, just because they give you a form of diverse. Um, uh, they they diverse your portfolio in an amazing way, and you don't have to go and do all the work for yourself, searching for every single company, researching every single company. You know, they just get the job done for you in a great way, and you don't have to do much of the work. That is why I like to mix my portfolio with a little bit of stock and a little bit of ETF. So that way, when the market goes down or, or up, when it goes down, it don't go, go down much. And when it goes up, it goes up, you know, more than it goes down. If you, uh, if you guys get what I'm saying. If I take a look here and we take a look at, you know, the S&P 500, for example, from the, big, from the low period here to when we've gone up, it's gone up like 104%. And, you know, if we just look across the board, board here, you can see that some of them have done well. They've, they've done way better than the S&P. And, you know, most of them are basically trailing the S&P or they're just, you know, you know, below it. But in general, they are doing very well. You know, it pays as well. Look at the growth here. Nice and steady. $2,000. So far, it's 38%. And look at the amount of money it has generated for the portfolio so far that I've had this $261 in dividend. So having an ETF um, mix with your portfolio, it's very, very nice. It, it helps your portfolio grow and it keeps that sta stability in your portfolio. So the other kind of ETF that I also want to point, with, point to you guys is, you know, people like ARK Invest. People that basically their whole 
premise, their whole job is to focus on growth, focus on companies that are com- doing things differently, that they are coming up with, you know, different innovation and all those things. Um, Arc is basically just focused on, you know, what's the next thing for the future so I can invest in it now. And what they do, they go out, they invest in a bunch of different companies and package it into one and you can buy, you can just buy this one. So this fir- first one is focused on innovation. The second one is focused on autonomy, next generation internet, fintech. So instead of me going out and, you know, researching all these individual companies that are in this one ETF, I can just buy the one ETF. You know, it makes the job you know very very nice even though it has really lagged a lot this year this this particular this particular portfolio has really lagged the market a lot but i believe over time it will do way better than the stock market than you know individual stock owning individual stock so in here is where i get a little bit more specific with picking individual stock and this is my passive income section It's basically focused on individual companies that I believe that they are going to grow over time. You know, they're going to grow like well into the future. Here are some of the companies that I have in my uh, in my, you know, energy and transportation section. And if we look here, you know, we have Tesla, we have space space, we have lithium ETFs, as you, as you guys see, even within the, the stock section. Sometime I put, um, you know, ETFs as well. And then we have some of this, um, you know, Deer, FedEx, Uber, some of these companies that I believe that they are going to do well in the future. If you take a look at the tech sector, we have all these different companies that are focused on technology and I believe they're going to do well. Those are, you know, there's a lot of companies in this world that, you know, do technology. And these are the ones that I've picked for my technology sec- sector and I believe they're going to be fine for the future. So having this mix here, you know, it's really nice for stable portfolio or stable growth in your portfolio. So that is why I have this like that. I have this portfolio set up like this. So in wrapping things up, oh, so in wrapping things up here, I really, really, really do believe that, you know, it's very important for every single individual that you're looking to build your por- portfolio. It's very important that you you mix your portfolio up with a, a bag of stocks and a bag of ETFs. So that way, you're extremely diversified when it comes to sectors, you know, um, technology, future technology. You know, you're extremely diversified. Your, your portfolio is... I cannot stress how much I really really love diversifying my portfolio so that way i can reduce risk and over time my portfolio can grow so you know you guys see i have a mixed bag here of etfs companies etfs companies that's basically what you're gonna get with a portfolio like mine you know so i hope you've enjoyed um you know this week's updates if you like what i do here please Give the video a thumbs up. It helps push the video out to uh, to a larger audience. I really, really appreciate you for that. And if you have any questions, please leave them, leave them in the comments. You know, I really, really do appreciate the interaction and everything. I love to just get to know the people that, that you know, are out there watching my content. I love to get to know you guys. So leave your stuff in the comment. You know, as you guys can see, we are doing well in this portfolio we're about to hit a thousand a thousand dollars soon maybe by mid next year february march we can hit that thousand you know first thousand dollars in dividend ever so that is coming soon so stay tuned i appreciate you for sticking through again give me a sub give the video a like if you like what i do here the whole point of this channel like i said in the beginning is to show you how i grow this portfolio to a million dollars so here's a little bit of my process here. So if you like like it, again, give it a sub. I appreciate you for that. Until next time, see you later. Love you all. Bye.